The trial for the 2016 murder of Abilene realtor Tom Niblo continues tonight. Many still at the Taylor County Courthouse waiting for a verdict, including KRBC's Noah McKinney, who go to him for the latest from the trial. Yes, thank you. It has been possibly the longest day in this now almost week and a half long trial. The packed courtroom that I entered earlier today has trickled out quite a bit. Just a few faithful clingers on waiting in there with prolonged anticipation for the jury to return and give their verdict. It has been hours of deliberation. I believe they went away around three and they are still in there trying to decide whether or not uh, Mr. Sweetser deserves a guilty verdict or not guilty. Now, testimony concluded today with Abilene Sergeant Paul Martinez. He actually was sworn in yesterday, but was able to finish his his testimony today as the final witness. He was able to speak a lot to the digital side of the evidence in his role as the um, cyber communications or cyber investigations, excuse me, cyber investigations um, department. But today, however, he pivoted from that speaking about the personal journals of defendant Luke Sweetser, detailing in Sweetser's own words his plans for financial success and daily thoughts, some journals containing pornographic material as well. One entry read, quote, I can turn off my empathy system and kill, end quote. Another describing his thoughts on the sh shifting of the Niblo family inheritance and how he could do that through the death of either his mother-in-law, Evelyn Niblo, or his father-in-law, Sid Niblo. The jury heard closing statement for just under two hours and broke for deliberation around three. The result of that deliberation is what we're still here waiting for. If found guilty, the jury will return tomorrow to hear further testimony before deciding final punishment. Now, given the passionate delivery of some of those closing statements today, as well as the, like I said, packed courtroom we had earlier, um, this, this case has been followed for quite some time. Many people in this community and even outside this community have a vested interest in it. And no matter what the verdict, it will certainly draw a, a impassioned reaction. At the Taylor County Courthouse, I'm Noah McKinney. Back to you. Well, thank you, Noah, for a complete look at today's final day of testimony. You can read the story on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.